Hi, I'm Peter Blakey, I'm with Owen Equipment, and then today I'd like to show you this TruVac Prodigy, and uh, I'll take a quick little tour around it. This happens to be uh, purchased for the city of Seattle as well, City Light, and it is on a Peterbilt as well, so you can put it, build on any chassis you wish. Um, that's one of the advantages of using the Vactor, uh, as they can do anything, they've, engineering teams can sort things out and make sure that you're favorite choices of chassis are picked. This section here, there's the uh, few things you can see behind me. One is a tall box, that is the uh, boiler. It has a hot water boiler on this truck. It has a water system that can go 10 or 20 gallons per minute. It also has an air compressor on this truck behind me. Um, they uh, do 185 CFM air compressors for these trucks for doing tools or air digging as well. This hydro excavation truck is designed specifically for digging, okay? This air moving system on this is a positive displacement blower. It's a lobe type blower. It's nested behind all that equipment. I can't really point it out from here, but I'll uh, maybe I'll catch a glimpse on the other side. All right, so we'll come on down this way. Um, that is the air hose for the air compressor. The air compressor is nested. The water system's in that box down below. All right, these are the controls for this truck. Um, there's a remote control, of course, and then these are the basic side controls. Everything's simple in these new Vactors. It's all one touch controls. Uh, there's also the dig right technology, which allows you to set your pressures so they don't go above uh, the requirement of when you're digging around nested utilities, such as fiber optic cables. You don't want to cut the jackets on them, things like that. Um, allows the truck to do the managing and not so much the employee. All right, come on down this way a little further. Uh, I want to talk about this debris body is a short one. It's a six yard, okay? Um, and then it has a water tank on there as well. So there's 600 gallons of water in the forward tank with the emblem on it. And then this one back here is six yard debris body. Okay. So it's a little bit smaller configuration. Of course, in city of Seattle, things are tight. So this is why they want a nice small truck. And this chassis that they've picked down themselves has a drop axle. So that allows for more weight carrying capacity when you have your debris body full. Okay. One around this way. A um, couple things that are different about this truck. I should point out right off the bat, since I'm standing back here, is that this one you work off the back, okay? This allows you to work in a 320 degree radius around the back, uh, all from this side where that boom is nested right now to the other side, right up where it comes next to the side of the truck. So you're able to work in this range. It's quieter back here, the engine's up front. Some people prefer that, okay? Um, Vactor's engineering department. Stuck with the same door design uh, as the other models that they had on the hydro excavation larger machines and the 2100 plus and I models. And they've got the, the same bank vault type secured low door. Door closes with, with the two cylinders. The big cylinder pushes in the middle to the, set the pins. Secure, your load's safe, doesn't leak. It's a very proven design. All right, so on this side of the truck, I want to point out the debris body was, was six yards. It is sorted out. A lot of the material, the heavy material has fallen out. But now we're going to take the, the air path the rest of the way up to the blower, okay? It's following this duct work right here to this cyclone. This cyclone is going to spin the air further and let the more solids and more debris that's finer particles fall out and be cleaned out of here, okay? Then our last place for this air to go is into this blower, okay? This blower has a... Um, 16 inch blower, but that's an inches of vacuum, but it's basically sucking air at about 160 miles an hour through this truck. And it is going to be filtered for the last place. I'm going to open this up for you. Because this is through that filter. Behind that is a blower. That filter is designed to catch everything up to five microns. So it keeps things, uh, your dust from being carried over if you're digging dry with air, as I talked about on the other side of the truck. Um, the air particle, the dust particles are caught. Any fine thing that made it through the truck is caught in that filter. Okay, and it can be cleaned and reused. The main thing you would concern yourself with is if you're in a community and you're digging, you don't want to have dirt be exiting out of your truck. And so the Vactors come up with this idea, Vactor TrueVac. Okay. All right, a um, little bit more about the truck. Uh, you're in a community again, there's this large muffler up here we call it a silencer in this industry and that is keeping the air coming out of the truck quiet right because this thing will make a lot of noise because the air is rushing through this machinery that's being run by the chassis so our uh, engineers have sat down and made sure that this was the correct decimal rating 
for environmental reasons around the people standing around, general public walking by, it's not uh, too loud for them. Okay. And I did talk briefly uh, in the beginning about the chassis style, but I do want to mention this one more time. This is a custom ordered truck. The customer asked for this chassis, this configuration, and this layout, and Vactor is more than happy to please. And as an Owen representative, it is certainly my pleasure to be the one to sort help sort things out with them.